Cleaning House, Travis County DA elect Margaret Moore campaigned on change. We've confirmed that at least eight and as many as 15 assistant district attorneys from the current office will be out of a job on December 31st. As KXAN's Brittany Glass explains, some fear the current administration's progress with domestic and family violence cases could be lost. I mean, it breaks my heart for them, and um, it worries me that they are not going to you know, um, have the voice that they need. Crime victim Jennifer Thompson says she gained a voice thanks to a Travis County Assistant District Attorney working on her domestic violence case. Kelsey McKay has been my advocate since 2014 when I was strangled by my abuser. That assistant DA says she's been asked to resign in the wake of the new administration. Uh, I'm hoping that it does not affect the case, but I'm not 100% sure. The changes at the DA's office are something the community group Safe Alliance says they're watching closely as well, saying lives are literally at stake. Margaret Moore was unavailable for an on-camera interview, but she did tell us this on election night. We will form a family violence unit to address the high number of family violence cases that have been filed. And on the phone Friday, she stressed the office will enhance the prosecution of these cases, and she's looking ahead to a new era in the office. I have great people who committed to work for me, and everyone was waiting for this moment where we could, we knew we could move forward on with our planning. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. Margaret Moore told KXAN News she's bringing in two intake attorneys and eight lawyers, one in each district court, dedicated to family violence cases in Travis County.